All right, we over here in Delray. And it is Monday, April 27th. I got the date on the video earlier. I think it's the 27th, right? Well, it's Monday. I don't know, I'm losing days. We over here in Delray heading towards Jefferson because if there's anything going on in Detroit, like National Guard type shit, military type shit, they gonna do it around here. Cause there ain't too many people left around here. I know it kind of looks like it to y'all, but those houses is all empty. There's people in there though, but I guarantee you they ain't fucking sign that census form and shit, fill that shit out. This is, they got them squatter rights here in Detroit though for y'all that didn't know. Now you know. We over there in Delray. Check out Delray for y'all. Just riding next to the police and shit. Right before I turned over here, I had the camera ready. But he ain't uh, following me over there. I tap my mask to him, give him a little mask tap. You see the mask, right, motherfucker? Let's see what it's looking like down that way. Passing by, we just came up with West End. Zug Island over here for all you juggalos that you know about Zug Island. Uh, Psychopathic Records. That's the famous Zug Island over there. Zug Island's like famous with the juggalos. Mighty, mighty president about to speak and shit, so y'all know. CC over here, riding shotgun with me, we just smoked the blunt. Blunt, just put the blunt on. There you go. Juggalos, when you come to Detroit, there you go. Cross. Cross. I dare y'all. I don't see any type of military action going on around this bitch. Got our uh, Canadian friends across the river over there. Our neighbors, our friendly neighbors, like State Farm. They're there. Oh, the commercial just played. <laughs> Hey, I heard that uh, that shit spread through smog too, so uh, pollution, so what the fuck kind of shit is that? Does that mean we're all fucked, y'all? Hey, Delray, y'all see this? They say uh, that COVID virus can uh, travel through pollution. And y'all see what that is, right? That's what we call cloud makers. <laughs> the smog is coming. Business. Business is shitty right now. Business. I'm gonna turn it up when uh, Dickhead starts talking. So Y'all can hear it. We gonna ride up Jefferson. We're about to ride past the pop pop right now. Police, police lives matter. Support your local police is what the bumper sticker in front of me says. Yeah, I bet you he never gets pulled over. He gets pulled over. River Rouge police. Just put it. 
this guy's probably the popos in front of me because this bumper sticker reads, uh, Police Lives Matter. Support to popo. Support your local popo. Front so we don't get yeah, that might be a fun. Y'all know my bumper stickers, or at least some of y'all do. You know who I'm talking about. You're probably watching right now, right? <laughs> Hit that like button, share it, post it, leave a comment, show some love. Southwest, all day. The cemetery pool of the River Rules Police Station. I know they're still off, so I ain't even go fucking with them and shit. I ain't fucking with them. I don't know. I don't see no cops out here though. Usually they're parked all on Jefferson. This is River Rules down river, so y'all know where I'm at. I'm on High Street. It's a good name for a street. High Street. But y'all see this shit. Ain't really shit to see. It's a very, very lame street. Lame Street. This ain't High Street, this Lame Street. Cruising down Lame Street. Eight ball rolling. Waiting for the treasure troll to speak and shit. I ain't really cruised around this. Uh, I ain't really cruised around this part of Down River in a couple minutes. Figure we ride through here too, cause I wanted to check out Delray. I gotta go see the homie Basil. Y'all know Basil. Are you not from Down River? Some people like just to watch and see what it looks like. There might be some people that ain't been down, that are from down river that are watching and ain't been down river in a long time and they want to see what it looks like now. I seen a motherfucker who just drove around Detroit and he got like millions of views. And all he was doing was driving around Detroit, filming Detroit. At least I talk shit while I'm driving around filming Detroit and shit. He wasn't even saying that. I even turned the radio on for you. He wasn't talking. He was just driving around Detroit filming houses. And he got like millions of views. And he was just driving around Detroit. It was like, was like the name of the fucking shit. Detroit City. And he was just showing like burnt down neighborhoods and shit. I, I drive around burnt down neighborhoods all day long and then at least I'm talking shit. I'm, I got my crack and I went shit all up in the hood. Again, the biggest I think we're in E course now. Down river That house wasn't boarded up last time, was it? How we drove by here? Uh, yeah, we're in E Corps. Oh, yeah, we're in E Corps now. Oh, yeah, E Corps. Here's Wu Street. We used to stay in the street, that house right there. We used to live there right there. Crackhead Jim still lives right there. All right, new crime. Live to Washington. Here we go. Governor Whitmer releasing new information about how businesses will start to reopen here in Michigan. Jump of the Uppity Jays, John Hewitt will have the latest. Plus, cases of deaths starting to trend downward in the city of Detroit. Good afternoon, I'm Jackie Page. And I'm Jason Scott for WWJ News Radio 950. Also coming up this half hour, we'll check in with Jeff Lesson. What is everybody saying about the Lions' choices over the weekend? We're getting a Super Bowl this year, y'all. Lions. You heard it here first. Go Lions. And 
Milwaukee weather says we're going to see rain moving in, uh, mainly just west of town, but overnight lows near 47 degrees. Right now at Detroit Metro Airport, it's mostly cloudy and 61 degrees. WWJ News Time is 5:31. You heard it live on WWJ. Governor Whitmer outlining the next steps as Michigan's economy starts to reopen in the coming weeks. Joining us live and local with those details is News Radio 950's John Hewitt's John. Jason, the next group of state businesses under review for restarting, according to the governor, include outdoor enterprises, as she put it, along with residential and commercial construction, which could resume operating, she says, in the next week or two. We will monitor public health, and we will measure our success every step of the way. We'll also remain nimble enough to pull back when the data tells us that's the prudent thing to do. If we see a spike, or we're concerned about hospital capability, Meeting the governor saying businesses will have to do their part to protect workers as well in the form of monitoring employee symptoms, instituting uh, social distancing in the workplace, strengthening sanitation and hygiene, and providing recommended protective equipment as needed. The governor also asking the legislature for a 28-day extension of her state of emergency order. Reporting live at local, John Hewitt, WWJ News Radio 950. As Michigan takes the go-slow policy on reopening workplaces, there are some concerns that workers may not be ready to head back. We get more now live from WWJ Auto Beat reporter Jeff Gilbert. Jeff. Yep, the worker confidence is going to be a big issue, says Bill Newman of the tech firm SAP. He tells the Center for Auto Research webinar, a month or so of being told to stay home has an impact on your psyche. There's going to be a certain physical unwillingness on the part of certain people who may feel themselves well or not to go back into work. Newman says companies they letting the to sick people work on the call of duty to make workers feel and safe. And I know that that's for that's facts. Distancing so and watch personal it. protection equipment, but even screening and testing workers and tracing the contacts of those who test positive. Reporting live, I'm Jeff Gilbert, WWJ, Detroit, day In Detroit, nice. the COVID-19 death rate is trending downward. That's according to Mayor Mike Duggan. About three weeks ago, we lost 215 of our neighbors. The next week we lost 246, then 241. In the last week, we lost 127. Mayor Duggan now it's urging residents done. to continue social distancing practices and other safeguards to avoid spreading the virus. The city's current death rate stands at 947, 947. with over 600 confirmed cases in Detroit. The city of Detroit receiving a $400,000 donation toward the COVID testing of nursing home seniors and other vulnerable residents in the city. Altametric CEO Raj Vedakuti announcing that gift at the mayor's daily COVID briefing earlier today. I mean, it's not going to stop yet. I'll continue to do the support as uh, we see more needed needed. And uh, I'm very committed to help uh, Detroit's senior community and vulnerable population. Seniors have lost their lives to COVID, about a fifth of the total death rate in the city. Nursing home staffers are now being tested for the virus. Meantime, when it comes to the mortality rate of the virus, minority communities have been impacted to a greater degree for a variety of reasons. In Michigan, African Americans make up just 14% of the state's population, but account for 40% of those who have died from coronavirus. Heading up a newly formed task force looking into the disparity is Michigan Lieutenant Governor Garland Gilchrist. This important work. We want it to be a different kind of task force because um, it can't be one that just does research and then release the report in several months. We need to put interventions on the street right now. Nothing because to go to base and and he says the task force is now looking at ways to quickly We're reduce the exposure that many people of color have to the virus, not only on the job, but with the public transportation they rely on. Lack of access to health care, he says, is another issue. Gilchrist's comments come today during a Zoom conference hosted by Oakland County Treasurer Andy Meisner. An extra $5 an hour, that's what employees in 20 Popeye's restaurants in Detroit are receiving as part of the essential oh, workers' Oh, shit, it's just $5 an hour, Popeye's. He also says that he's hiring. Each new hire will also receive the bonus and beginning on their first day on the job. WWJ News Time, 536. Do you find yourself leaving the house more often over the last couple of days? If so, you're not alone. WWJ Health Reporter Dr. Deanna Lights with those details. Connie, a resident of Troy, has been following the stay-at-home orders, but noticed a change in her behavior about a week to ten days ago. I'm finding
finding every single reason I can to get out of my house, go get a fresh loaf of bread, go fill up my tank with gas. Summer.